All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how we can connect our SkyCut machine to our computer via the standalone method so that we don't need to have internet to, uh, to be present uh, there at the place that we're at. Maybe we're doing an expo. Uh, maybe you're at a friend's house that doesn't have internet. But uh, you can cut to your SkyCut machine without having wires basically. All right. So the way this works is uh, the SkyCup machine actually broadcasts its own uh, Wi-Fi signal. You connect to it via your computer and then inside Sign Master Pro you're able to send all your cut data to the machine and the machine's able to read it and cut it out for you. All right. So again, no wires and uh, the beauty about this is uh, you can have multiple computers uh, connect to it um, and uh, send it cut data. Okay. So uh, there are a few things that we need to do in order to prep for this and we need to go to the machine first so that we can tell the machine that we need to be in standalone mode all right so how do how do we get there well uh, if we take a look at our machine we'll go ahead and zoom zoom in here so uh, we need to go to the Wi-Fi settings uh, so we go here very top left we click it the next thing is we go to the Wi-Fi so we'll click the Wi-Fi now, uh, once we are there, we can click the push and hold for three seconds. Um, this will put it in default mode, which means that it's not connected to any kind of internet. And you'll notice that it turned red, and that gray button is now you know, disabled where it says wait. What we're looking for is that yellow or that orange band at the very top to actually turn green in the top left and give us uh, an ID name as well as an IP address. Okay, usually takes about a minute and a half to two minutes. All right, perfect. Uh, there in the top left we do see green. That means it's uh, broadcasting its own signal now or it's connected, right? And if we take a look at the next thing here, uh, it says hi-link then underscore F719. Now, uh, yours will read something different. Uh, they, they, are, they are all unique in that respect, but uh, you will see a high link, underscore, and F, and then some sort of number. And then following that number is uh, the, the IP address, and you're going to want to write that down because we're going to need that for uh, Sign Master. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we need to connect to this. Okay. So Let's go ahead and take a look into our Windows computer. Now, SignMaster is a Windows-only computer. And what we need to do here is we need to first connect to that HP link that we saw. Okay, so if you, if you remember, uh, what we saw is we, we saw hi-link underscore F719. So on Windows users, you'll see uh, over down here uh, your network, and you will go ahead and try to find the wireless uh, network called HI-Link. Now, because I am using uh, a virtual machine, uh, it's not going to be seen there. But uh, on a Mac, uh, we, you know the way that the virtual machine works, I'm able to simply click on my Wi-Fi up here, and I can find it over here, which is HI link F719. Now if you've never connected to your uh, plotter before, it's going to ask you for a password. The password is the following. 12345678. So 1 through 8, you're going to type that in and then you'll be good to go as far as connecting to it. All right. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to do the following. We go up here and we click on this button here and it says vinyl spooler. Click on vinyl spooler. And then the next thing is over here where it says connection. Select it. And then down here where it says port type, it's going to be Windows port. So make sure that that is selected. And then over here where it says port TCP. And uh, we're going to want to make sure that we click the configure button. And the number that goes in here is what we saw right here, which is 192.168.16.254. Okay. So we make sure that that is in there. 
and then the port 8080. We can click test and we'll let us know that the port is okay. And then we can click apply and we should be good to go. Now you can always test anything, you know, you can, for example, I have a circle here. Now uh, I don't have any blade or any pin in the holder, but uh, I would like to see it move. But anyways, I'll go ahead and just demonstrate that we can do that. And let me go back to this scene here. Go to send a cutter. And now we can go ahead and click on the uh, cut now if we wanted just to see if it worked. And then this menu will appear here. I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And, and then we should see the housing move. And again, I don't have any blade or pen in there, but it's just there for a test. All right. So hopefully you learned something on how to make your SkyCut machine go in standalone mode so that you can cut without internet, whether you're at someone's house that doesn't have internet or maybe an expo, for example. Okay. But uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. All right. Take care.